What is up guys? Jake here with the next Vainglory video and this is going to be a long one not on purpose but this was the most epic match I've ever been in 46 minutes long. Uh, I was exhausted at the end of it. We'll talk more about that but the first thing I want to mention is the new update just launched today 1.9 uh, a lot of changes in the game a lot of cool stuff some of it just graphics and, and you know different skins for the for the autumn season and some of it obviously you know into gameplay Taka actually got some adjustments so be sure and check out all the things we're not going to go into detail on it because I'm not I'm not into the game that much to really give you guys those kind of details and how it's going to affect the game uh, so I'll just check it out you know uh, look at it and you'll you'll know what I'm talking about uh, but in general in the background here I'm gonna let it be times two for a while because uh, it's just a lot of farming and again with this long a video uh, not a lot of important stuff happening early on in the game but the main thing on the update as far as I'm concerned right now and how it affects me and you guys uh, that are watching this video is that they have guilds now just out of the or clans I don't know if they're calling it guilds or I think they're calling it guilds um, which is awesome you know so we can play together we can have a place to where we can sort of have you know it's, obviously it's going to be like every time this happens when I start a game I start putting it out there and it's going to fill up really really fast but you know as always there'll be times that people are, they quit the game they're inactive we'll get rid of them we'll open up spots so the the name of the of the guild is the main vein. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that without laughing. The main vein, uh, you know, vein. Glory. I just couldn't resist. I couldn't resist naming the in the clan or the guild that. So uh, that's the name. Search it up if you want to join or just you know put me down and, and hit me up when I, when I'm on the game and ask for an invite and I'll get you in, in the in the guild uh, and we'll we'll go from there. So just gonna have fun. Not gonna take it too seriously. Uh, obviously, we don't want people that are, you know, we're not going to make people like quitting games or anything like that. And that's the advantage for you guys and for me is that we'll all get to play together. We know we're not going to have people that are just quitting the game or backing out or that are complete, you know, just absolutely terrible at the game. Uh, so, again, hit me up. We'll do it. We'll we'll, we'll get you in the in guild. And hopefully, I think it gets bigger. You get to like 50 somehow. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess we have to level up. Just like any game, uh, we'll have room for more and more people. Uh, new character. You'll, you're seeing him in the background right there, Finn is a very very tanky sort of slow tanky uh new hero in the game so a lot of people playing it right now i had one on my team and actually the enemy team had one as well so uh pretty pretty interesting game it starts off you know slow normal we've got ringo up in the lane they've got a celeste uh, again me and finn and then they've got celeste uh what is that wolf's name god i always forget it I'll think of it in a minute. Uh, they've got him and then obviously their Finn. So it goes back and forth. You know, we're, we're just sort of farming. And really right now I'm focusing on getting my attention bow and getting my ultimate ability. That's when it starts really getting serious uh, for Taka. So, you know, it's it's something that I that you have to focus on if you're playing Taka. You've got to get almost above all else. you got to sort of ignore everything. Now, you don't want your, your laner just to get ganked and all that over and over, but, you know, Finn's up there part of the time helping out, and I'm just really trying to focus on on what I'm doing, uh, getting that those abilities and getting that tension bow. Because, again, once that happens, uh, I'm able to really get in there and, and start taking people out. So, uh, let's see, where we're at here. I'm just we, we got to steal a lot of their farm. I think that's what helped us early game especially is that we just starved them for farm. Uh, me and Finn would go over there and take those two every time and then just sort of run around it and getting ours. Uh, so that that was a big, you know, early game farming. That's where it's at. Uh, so you'll see we out-leveled, I think, them pretty quickly. And then we also just with gold uh, got our abilities and things like that quicker. Come up top, I just get my ultimate. So I'm coming up top here and... Uh, Jumping on there, it's gonna drive me crazy not thinking of his name this whole this whole video. Uh, but anyways, jump on it again. Not just ha don't have enough burst damage yet, and these guys went really tanky early game. They really tried to uh, prevent us from getting those those ganks and stuff like that. Except for Celeste, Celeste I got several times. Uh, she was not quite tanky enough. But uh, for the most part, they they all went. I think they all at the end of the game had Aegis. Uh, so you know it was it was tough for sure. Uh, right here, just sort of waiting for one to slip up. Finally does, gets a kill. And again, with Finn, you know, you can hit that ultimate on him. Not that big a deal. Uh, he just sort of brushes it off. Fortress, I'm sorry. Fortress is the is the name of the wolf there. Couldn't think of it. 
again, a lot going on in this game. You're going to, I mean, it's 30 minutes and I fast forwarded through a lot of it. So a uh, long video, uh, back to the farm here. I did get my tension bow there. Uh, so I'm ready at ultimate, got my tension bow. I'm really ready to start trying to put out some damage. But again, Finn was always sort of sitting out there in front. I tried to sneak past him here, get a hold of Celeste, which I do hit her with that and take, you know, beat her down pretty good. Don't get the kill yet. I don't have enough burst damage just yet to start actually, you know, one shot, two shot in her, uh, but that'll come later in the match. Our Ringo did go down and so they're sort of chasing us around here. But again, Finn can just take such a beating. We just sort of retreat back into the protection of the turrets. And from there, we're all right. You see that Celeste is out there getting a few shots on our turret. Uh, we're just trying to get rid of those minions so that the turret will start targeting the heroes and everything will be fine there. So that's all we can really do. We can't poke them from a distance. Neither one of us can. So uh, we just had to deal with what we had. Finally, Ringo makes it back and all is well. So I think here in just a moment, uh, we might get into a little bit of a skirmish here. He goes and uses his ultimate, which I think was wasted there. You don't use your ultimate right out of the gates with Ringo. Uh, you sort of want to save that for when they're damaged. Like right here, we jump on him. Now he could have used his ultimate on Fortress. Probably would have killed him. Uh, instead, he, he doesn't have it. So uh, just a little back and forth here. Just a you know, little, little jockey in for position in the lane. Uh, but for the most part, not, not, nothing too eventful. Uh, again, Fortress, or excuse me, Fortress. Finn can just come right out. Uh, he really has no worries about been, being ganked or one-shotted. I got too aggressive there, took a death that I did not need to take. But, you know, they were up there doing their thing. I wanted to help out. I probably should have just bounced back and grabbed uh, some more farm. Right here, I decided to go ahead and get some tanking. Uh, I grabbed a shield and I grabbed an oak heart uh, just to start getting a little more HP and be able to take a few more shots because I know that I can tell early on in this game, we're going to have a lot of three-on-three -three battles. These guys are pretty much running together. Fortress is almost always right there uh, behind Celeste, that him or Finn. So it's not like you're getting easy ganks. I did get her right there, and we go back to farming. Uh, you can tell that Finn wants to grab uh, the gold mine here. I just go ahead and grab a little farm while he's at the store. Uh, Fortress's wolves come down, and so he was right there close. I get in here again. I think I... Ended up actually hitting my ultimate on either Finn or one of the dang minions. Sometimes that happens to me. I tap that ultimate and it just grabs those minions and it just drives me crazy. Uh, they almost get our Finn down. They come chasing. They get Ringo right here. I come in, try to help out. I get a few shots off on Fortress there. Uh, you see Finn peels out. He goes back to the house. Uh, so I'm sort of on my own. So I just sort of exit, you know, out here. I'm sort of wanting to... I want to not let them get this gold mine, so I tried to grab the last hit there, and it was really close. I might have been just a second early on that, uh, and it, you know, I retreat back to my to my turret here. I really got to practice more on that on that last hit on the gold mine there, because I was it was perfect setup for it. I just didn't get the last shot on it. Uh, but right here, they're really putting pressure on our turret. Finally, take it out. I get a few shots in on Finn that actually do hurt him. Uh, so he starts to peel out, which allows us to basically take back control. But the damage is done. They got our turret down. Uh, not a good thing they got that and the gold mine. I jump up, gank Celeste. So now two of them are down. Fortress is going to have to fall back, and we can get back to doing our thing here. Uh, Finn, does, you know, there's a lot of times that we, I think, hung around just a little bit too long. This time, I think he said, okay, let's just get out of here, go get our farm. And we do go ahead and do that and go ahead and grab their minion mine. Uh, most of this game, actually, we controlled the jungle pretty well. The The lane was sort of back and forth, but uh, Finn and I pretty much handled the jungle uh, for the most part, that is. Uh, so right here, I get back in. I've got some defense built up. I'm going to grab my boots. I forgot to grab those earlier on. I should have already had those, actually. Uh, but we're going to get back up here. They're, they're back there grabbing their minion mine, uh, so we know that there's not a lot going on in the lane. Right there, he uses his claw, I guess you'd call it, or anchor, whatever that is, that he can drag someone out with. But I don't guess it works on, on Finn, so I don't know why it was kind of wasted there. Uh, they come back up to the lane. We got some pretty good shots in on their turret, so that's good. We're trying to even the score there. I uh, got a pretty good battle going on in the middle here. I flip out of the way. Don't take hardly any damage there. Celeste waste her ultimate, so that's good. Uh, she wasted her ultimate quite a bit in this match, actually. Uh, I'm just sort of hanging back, waiting for my refreshes to come up. Right there, I try to jump on uh, Fortress and get him down. But again, just not a, these guys were so tanky. Fortress and Finn on their team, I mean, it took just so much damage to get them down. Uh, it was constantly like that. So right here, I get another shot on him. This time, I get him. It takes basically two ultimates and two of my A abilities to get him down, plus the auto attacks that go along with that. So uh, pretty tough. But get, get the kill. 
So we're sort of in the driver's seat here, three on two. But, you know, they've got their minions sort of protecting them. I get another good shot on Celeste there. I take a few hits from the turret and just peel out. Uh, again, I've got to get my sort of healed back up and let my re refreshers come back. That's sort of the whole thing. You're in and out, in and out. That's how I play Taka anyways. And I enjoy it like that. So right here, I try and take another shot at Finn, just trying to make him back off because he is low on health. And if he can back off, we're going to get this turret. Uh, so I come right up to it. Again, I don't know. I don't fully understand the turret targeting system. I feel like it's always targeting me, even when there's little minions in front of it. Uh, so maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you guys can leave me a comment. Let me know. I'm almost dead, so I say I'm going to go back. I grab my aftershock. I need that little bit extra burst damage that I don't have. I'm getting them very, very low on life, but just not quite getting the kill. So with this aftershock, uh, things start getting a little bit better here. Uh, you see right there, Celeste coming out, and boom, just a she can almost just not take it. In fact, had the, and we do get the kill there. I, I didn't get it, but uh, had the uh, Fortress not been there, would have been an easy kill. Or just, you know, a few a second longer to get another auto attack in would have been an easy kill. So uh, I'm at the point now to where they, they're going to have to respect that gank uh, right there. Finn just continues to push forward. He's so freaking tanky. Look at that. I've, I've just used ability after ability on him. Attack after attack, and he just sort of shrugs it off and, and walks off with about half half health. Uh, Fortress again also did a really tanky build in this game. Uh, so you see right there, even hitting hitting them with tension bow, aftershock, all of that, they can just sort of take it, which allows Celeste to sit back and, and a lot of times in these skirmishes do a lot of work. Again, she takes that pop shot with her ultimate. Actually does get a good hit on it, I think, on our Finn. He goes down, and now it's just me and Ringo. We actually take out, with Ringo's help there, we take Finn out. So now they're sort of exposed. He uses his ultimate. Again, I think he was always sort of like the Celeste a little early on his ultimate. Uh, but, you know, she's hurt right here. I come back down. I, I'm out of power, though, and I'm sort of plagued out of power this, this match. And I just never seem to have room for that battery. Uh, I think I do get it for a while, but then I end up selling it. Uh, sort of strange. I was just always, always out of power in this match. Uh, just hanging out. I, th I was afraid they would go for the Kraken. Um, I actually was kind of hoping they would go for the Kraken. I think it would be a mistake at this point. They don't do it. I run down and go ahead and just grab some store. Uh, grab that Dragon Heart. And then right here, uh, Celeste comes out, which why Celeste would want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me at this point, I'm not sure. Uh, she's almost dead right there. Ringo gets a pop shot off or two, and I finish her off. So now, again, we're right back in the battle. I mean, it was just like this all the entire match. It was just back and forth. I'm very low on health, but just did a little bit of damage to uh, Fortress just to back him off a little bit. And then I'm down here. I'm going to try to grab these potions. I've got to try to get healed up a little bit. Uh, then Finn, we can get on him. Fortress is down. So now it's just, oh, no, Fortress is not down. He just had retreated. Uh, but now it was pretty much three on one. Uh, with Finn and he, he goes down eventually so he can die it's possible it's just hard to do so now we're in a position where I think they want to grab the the Kraken here uh, we get the first Kraken and we do have time to get it done uh, Celeste I believe does come running over here trying to get that last hit and just doesn't quite do it almost though pretty good uh, attempt actually uh, but then she made the mistake of exposing herself I take her out really really easily all right so from there we got the Kraken it's time to push forward a little bit uh, you're going to be shocked how many times you see that Kraken in this match. And this is the only one that we get. Uh, so pretty interesting, actually. Right here, the Kraken gets up there. And again, this is where I don't understand it. Why is the turret targeting me here? It makes no sense to me that Kraken's in front of it, beating on it. Again, I don't understand the turret targeting system. Maybe I can do some research or do some reading somewhere. Because uh, it seems like no matter what I do, it, it decides to target me. Uh, we're obviously going to get this turret taken down, so they pretty much surrender it and fall back. Uh, start placing these, see those mines they're placing, they're trying to trap it, uh, get some easy damage on us. I jump on uh, Fortress again, and again, the turret targets me. Every time I move up to it, it targets me. Um, it's just the way it is, but I just learned to sort of deal with it. I back out as soon as it happens. A lot of times I'll use that flip right when it shoots, and that flip will avoid the damage from even the turret, so that's nice. Uh, we're getting the easy, easy kill on the turret there, but we do lose uh, a teammate. Who did we lose there? I think it was maybe both of them. And so I peel out. It's time to get out of there. Uh, they come down to the bottom here. I use my ability in there right there. Look at that. That was a really nice grab. In fact, I think he does his stomp, which pulls me back in again. And between that and Fortress, I think they might. No, they actually don't get me here. They almost do. I put some damage down on Fortress, and then the shot from the turret takes him down. 
Uh, he was just pressing too hard, and I did have my abilities up. And with that flip, it, if you time it right, you know, you're not taking any damage, really. So put a few shots on to uh, Finn as well, because he's just deciding he wants to just tank this this turret with no no consequences. So I'm trying to put some damage on him uh, to make him back off. And then obviously Celeste, way too aggressive, gets out there in front and gets taken down. I think actually our Finn pulled her in, which was, which was pretty nice. So now both of them are dead. It's just us and Finn. Uh, so we're going to get him uh, right there. Again, uh, Ringo using his ultimate there. We finally get Finn taken down. So we ace him there. I think it was an ace. I think they were all dead. Yeah, they were all dead. So I decided to run down and grab their minion mine. Uh, you see we're already at 20 minutes here, and we really have the control here. I feel like we have the, the momentum at this point, but really soon here it changes. So just watch that. Uh, I go ahead and grab my Crucible. I'm going to just try to, you know, again, these fights are hard, fast and furious, and they're, they're in your face. There's no, I'm not really having a place to escape to. So I've got to start building my defense up, which I'm getting it there. It's, it's getting pretty good. I drop in on Fortress, but again, he's so tanky. I just cannot quite take him out. That shot from Ringo, though, that uh, Achilles heel or whatever he's got, does stop him and gets the kill. So very nice job by Ringo there. Uh, then we're just going back to beating on Finn while Celeste sort of regroups back there. It's crazy how much damage that Finn can take when you build it like that. Uh, you see Celeste coming out. She's going to come over. I'm trying to grab her because I can take her down very quickly. But she just retreats back in time. Uh, to the stairs there and say back to working on Finn just beating on him beating on him he finally stays a little bit too long almost had him uh, he gets back to the stairs and now we're see the problem here is we don't have our minions again Celeste firing off that ultimate does catch Ringo a little bit with it so it's probably time just to back out here we do have our Finn sort of rejoining us so we just I give the signal let's just post up right here to see if we can't catch them coming out a little bit too fast not organized uh, or maybe just one of them trailing out so we just sort of wait for him here. Uh, right there, you see Finn always out front, which is smart. I'm really trying to target Celeste right there. Finally, I get a good lead on her. Target her. Uh, she's going to go down really quickly here. Uh, you see how much little life she has left. So all we got to do is use that ability where they can't see me, grab her, and then now start working on Fortress. But he's not. A, he doesn't go down nearly as easy. And again, I'm pretty much out of power at this point again. So I thought I had him, uh, probably would have had him, but, you know, again, we don't have many minions here. And then Finn is sort of off fighting our Finn, I believe. Or, no, right there he is. He's hanging out. So I guess I was by myself and I didn't realize it here. Uh, so I try to get out of here. But with those two, it's going to be tough. I run down sort of towards my team where I thought they were. Uh, but they've pretty much caught me at this point. I use my ability just in time. Finn steps out, does take the aggro from him. Uh, I use my ultimate, use my flip, and get some more damage in on him. Probably a mistake. We probably should have just, I should have let Finn tank a little bit and just get out of here. So I'm pretty sure they take me down right here. These, did they get me? Maybe not. It's been a while since this happened. I had to sort of unwind afterwards. Yeah, I think they catch me here. Uh, Fortress does and, and takes me out. I tried to just put a little damage on him because I knew I was going down. So I might as well get a hit or two off on him. Uh, really at this point, I do have that battery, but I don't, I guess it's the, those ultimate abilities or not the ultimate, but the uh, Aegis and the, uh, oh, what's the other one there? Sorry, guys, I don't have all the lingo and terminology down. I'm just dedicated to memory just yet. But anyways, I think those take a pretty good amount of power when I use it. The only thing I can think of, because I, I never run out of power like this in fights uh, when I don't have those. So I'm assuming that's what it is here. But again, we're at 24 minutes, so now deaths are very important. I've only had a couple of them, but you know, at, at this point, when you go down, you're down for, for a long time. Here's their first crack, and this is where they start sort of the momentum has shifted, you know, there for a while we've had control. We were inside their base for a bit long periods of time, uh, getting stuff taken down. They were already got their turrets down to inside their base, but from here they really sort of turned the tide. And so props to them for, for, you know, a nice comeback really. Uh, they're beating on that first turret. We're trying to beat them off, but again, Finn taking most of the hits here. I'm trying to get past him, get a target on Celeste. But for me, at least when it's like that, it's hard. You know, I mean, I did a pretty good job there. Finally got a, a hit on Celeste and she starts running. I'm not going to let her get away. I'm going to make her pay for it. Finally take her down. But I've got these other two guys on me. I try to just get out of there um, and run back. But, you know, the turret is down. You know, the, the Kraken is still beating on the next one. We got to get it taken down. So I run back, uh, try to help them out and get it taken down. But again, They've sort of got the upper hand here. Even though Celeste is down, we got to run back. we got to regroup, spend our money. Uh, right here, I decided to go ahead and just double infusion. You know, I've got – these fights are happening so often. 
and I know that they're going to continue to press. They're not going to fall all the way back. That I just thought that was the, all my slots were full. I thought that was the best use for it. Uh, so right here, we grab our minion mine back and we start going up the middle here. Probably should have not been so spread out. I'm not sure what exactly our fin went to do there. Uh, maybe just went to grab some of those minions that were beaten on our turret. I'm not sure. Uh, I think that was probably a mistake. But anyways, not that not that costly or anything. Uh, again, it's sort of always like this. It's us fighting Finn and uh, Fortress, and they're so we we just can't hardly burst them down. You know, they just sort of fall back, and then all of a sudden Celeste shows up and, and drops some damage on us. So I'm in pretty bad shape here. I had to to fall back and get away. Again, it's just them two. I think they were making a lot of the times making a mistake of just beating on Finn instead of just ignoring him, getting past him, getting to those other guys and getting some damage on him. When it's like this right here and he's the only one around, yeah, all three of us jump on him. Uh, when all three of us are on him like that, we can burst him down, but Ringo sort of hangs back, starts working on some of those uh, minions to get them out of the way. Uh, so right here, I knew was we were sort of, we, we didn't have, again, we just didn't have the momentum. We didn't have the advantage here. Uh, I felt like we probably should just pull back, uh, but we continue to press forward. I'm low on health. I am think I'm low on power even here. Yeah, I'm, I'm like out of power, out of health. Uh, but, you know, these guys continue to press forward, so I didn't want to just bail on them. I wanted to, you know, try if we Even if we get one of those two guys down, uh, it really turns the tide at this point because we're right there in front of their base, and then boom, Celeste takes that shot and drops me. So that made me a little bit mad. I was like, man, you know, it was kind of weak, but it is what it is. I mean, that's, that's part of Celeste. She did a good job on that one. She missed a lot doing that stuff, but uh, she didn't on that one. Uh, Ringo goes down, and so now it's just Finn. I'm trying to tell him, you know, if you can make it back, we don't need an ace here. We don't need our base completely open and exposed. I go ahead and max my boots out, because uh, again, it's just a lot of back and forth, and when you die, you've got to get to the other side of the base. It takes a long time. Uh, Finn right here does go down. We do get aced, and they've got, a, you know, seven, eight seconds here to get the job done. They're going to take out that turret. I'm just going to come in and try to stop them from getting further into the base here. And when they, you know, they didn't even really press the issue. I think they went down to grab our minion mine possibly, or maybe they're back to grab another crack in here. Yeah, I think it's what it is. I'm by myself and they sort of like, you know, why aren't you stopping them from going to get the crack in? But honestly, um, what are you going to do? You're going to run over there and you're going to die, basically. You might get lucky and get last, last hit on it, but if you don't, you're going to die. And uh, I just thought it was the, maybe it was a wrong decision, but I just thought that was the best to wait, group back up, uh, try to take them out, and then take the Kraken out. So obviously, again, like I said, the momentum has clearly shifted here. We're not in good shape at all. I jump right on Celeste, though. She throws that ultimate. I don't think she got much out of that. If She might have hit Ringo. But again, she peels out, and I just commit to it. I figure, okay, I've got... Uh, Fortress and Celeste that I'm occupying. All they've got is Finn down there to worry about. He's not going to be killing anybody. They can completely focus their efforts on the Kraken taking it out. Uh, so I thought it was worth it. And I take her out and then actually do a pretty good job on Fortress here. I think I would have, if he hadn't retreated, I think I would have two on one him there. Took him out. Uh, but he does peel out. I try chasing down, do as much as I can. I thought I might get him, but he just gets away. Uh, for some reason, that ultimate didn't go off in time. But right here, I, I go to leave, and Fortress, or excuse me, Finn is there. And I knew at this point I was in trouble. I tried to bail out. Uh, his little stomp revealed me out of my invisibility. So at this point, I knew it was over again. Just turn around, try to get a shot off or two on them, try to do a little damage that they have to deal with. Uh, but, you know, they had me. But what that allowed them to do, again, was take out that Kraken uh, basically un all by themselves. All they had to do was focus on the Kraken. So here I'm just trying to get some more damage. It's so hard to burst these guys down. Anything I can just afford to grab, I sell that battery. I can tell it's not really keeping my power up anyways. I thought anything with a little bit more damage would would uh, would help out. So right here, I've got a few more seconds to get up. They're falling back, retreating, sort of doing their thing. Uh, I'm just making sure I'm going to grab another infusion here. Uh, as soon as that's done right here, that the fight's on. I come right out into it. Uh, right there, I jump on the Celeste again. As soon as I see her, I'm just laser focused on her. And again, she's really easy to take down. She's just not... She's not built like these other guys in this fight. So once she goes down, it's just a matter of getting, uh, you know, one of those down. And right there, we really burst down Finn. So now it's, we've got the event, the, the tide have turned again here. We've fought off both of those Krakens. Uh, we've got a chance. And this is my fault right here. I We had the chance and I screwed up. I really thought we should push all the way forward and get to the, uh, get in there. Because all they had was one, you know, all they had was Fortress up. Plus we were right there at their vein, had those two, um, turrets left but the problem here is 
they had both of the mines, and we just didn't have anything to come tank for us. Try to get in there and take a little bit of it out, uh, but we're taking all the shots from the turrets. There's nothing in there, no minions to help us out. Uh, it was just a mistake on my part. So we're low life. Celeste comes out, immediately throws our ultimate down. Uh, we're at, at a huge disadvantage here, and I'm trying to I tell them, you know, again, let's, it's, we're in a bad spot. Let's get out of here, but it's just too late. You know, they, they sort of got us. I jump in, stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, and they take me out here in just a moment. So pretty much that whole little swap right there. We had the advantage. Now they've got the advantage. That was all on me. That was me screwing up. I, I encouraged them to chase down there. We should have just went down, took our minion mines, took their minion mine, and then waited to ambush them when we were in the advantage. Uh, so, you know, live and learn, I, I guess. Uh, we're at 34 minutes, and, you know, at this point, you're thinking, okay, here they go again. They're going to grab another Kraken. So this is the third Kraken they're about to unleash on us. I'm just trying to tell these guys, get back. Uh, let's just, you know, let's post up. Let's just get ready and, and beat them off again. Because when it happened, when the fight actually happens, uh, we, we are winning. It's just a matter of, you know, making mistakes like I did right then to put us in a bad situation. So right here, the Kraken's coming. I know that we've got to get Celeste taken care of. we got to get them taken out, and then we can focus on the Kraken. So once again, I'm just sort of head hunting, waiting to see what I can find here. But this time, Ringo sort of does the job. He distracts him. I guess he's got Celeste on the run. Obviously, he's going to die here. Uh, but, you know, right there, he goes down. But again, that gives us a lot of time to just beat on this Kraken, try to get it down before it does too much damage to us. Uh, gets in range of our, our last remaining turret. Uh, we're in a, again, you know, you think it's pretty much over here. It's two on uh, three. We're we got a guy down. We got they got a kraken up here. I mean, they're about to kill our last turret. So really, we, I'm out of power. I mean, it's looking terrible at this point. But I focus in on Celeste. Try to get her down. You know, again, she goes down really quickly. She has to peel out. Uh, the kraken does not have much life left. But now they're beating on the vein. I mean, this is insane. Right here, I finally get um, I get enough damage on them, and, so, and Finn helps out to where they decide, okay, it's time to leave. You know, let the, I think they're hoping the Kraken takes the vein out at this point. I really had to commit to, to chase them off because with three on two there, we were we were beat. You know, and I think they they really made a mistake there. They should have went all out. If they died, they died. The vein was exposed. Three heroes in a Kraken can take the vein down very quickly. So I think that was probably a mistake on their part. Uh, we just sort of regroup. We chase them off, basically. Again, I am just looking for anything to boost my power. I still have some infusions running, so I don't buy them yet. Uh, chase, chase them down. Uh, why Celeste came back right there, I'll never know. Uh, but take her out, and then we've got Finn on the run. Obviously, we can take him out pretty easy. He can't. There's almost no way he's going to make it all the way back to his base. Uh, before he goes down. So right here, finally getting down. And this time I learned my lesson. I just head straight down to that minion mine. I don't try to press forward. We gotta have some tanks. We gotta have some help. We've got everyone dead. Uh, you see that Finn goes back there, grabs the other minion mine. So now we've got the advantage. All we gotta do is sort of set up, wait on them. Uh, I'm, I'm really anxious here because I'm trying to get everybody set up, but I want to go into that their base so badly, but I know it's just the, it's the wrong move. We got like 12 seconds. We don't have any minions in there. You know, if you look in the, on the mini map up there, we probably should have grabbed those minions first. Uh, but we have to wait till our double minion here sort of overtake theirs before we're ever going to have any tanks in there. That's very important. Uh, probably Ringo should have went up the lane and done that. But no big deal. They finally come out. The fight is on. Uh, again, I, I feel comfortable in these fights because we usually have been winning them when it's a three-on-three -three like this. You see Celeste coming out. I grab her. She's pretty much dead, but she runs back to the stairs. Uh, so, again, we sort of whip them, whip them down. They run back. They have to retreat, and this goes on uh, for a little bit. Again, me out of power. I think it's from those... Um, those items that I've got that I'm using, but that is also keeping us alive. That's giving us more health. It's giving us more uh, shield and just really making the difference in these fights, I think. Now, right here, jump on a fortress again, try to get him beat down. But again, they just go back to their stairs, stairs they recharge. It's a very, very grueling fight at this point, and we're 38 minutes into the to the thing. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's tough. It is. It's, it's, you're, mentally exhausted you're physically exhausted you've been doing this for a lot longer than you used to uh, and it's just the the roller coaster of back and forth finally we get fortress down and that's pretty much where things change because without two tanks without that extra damage uh, we're able to sort of get back on them and right here we can get celeste beat off she has to retreat and now you see that the wave of 
minions that we've sort of accumulated because we have both minion mines is caught up. Now we've got some tanks. They're going to start getting in there. They're stronger. They're, they're bigger. We're, they're going to start getting in there to those turrets, and we're going to be able to start focusing on them because it's hard to take these guys out when they're standing right on their steps and those turrets. We can't get too close to them. We don't have any tanks, but they're coming. They're coming right here. You see the next wave showing up. So let's throw another ultimate down uh, very smartly. We're, we're playing it much smarter here. We're just sort of falling back, getting our tanks in front of us, regrouping. Uh, you see Finn, I guess, has finally just run out of juice because he's really starting to go down quick here. I go ahead and decide it's time to just grab a turret. If we can get one of these turrets down, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Uh, it targets me as soon as that minion goes down. I just sort of retreat back, got a few shots on it. But again, out of power. I'm just perpetually out of power at the end of this match. Uh, it's pretty frustrating because I feel pretty much worthless without, you know, my abilities. Uh, right here, we're sort of in a bad spot, but my abilities are, are my Aegis and my, uh, what I can't remember what the life one is called. Uh, they're almost back up. So I know that this could be a, a turner if I can just, if we can make it till then. Uh, we do lose Finn. So I sort of go ahead and use him. We fall back. I feel like we, we got, you know, that was worth it. What, we ha what happened there was worth it. If they don't kill me here, we've got a chance at least to defend. I go ahead and grab this broken myth. Again, just trying to do anything I can that I've got gold to get power. I grab a, I think I go ahead and grab a double infusion here. Do I have the money for it? What do I have? Six, no, I don't. I didn't grab anything. I uh, should have grabbed an infusion. Yeah, I do. Right there. I'm just sort of waiting on them. Here's the fourth Kraken they've unleashed on us. Now, guys, we're 41 minutes in. We face four Krakens. Pretty much at this point, you know, we just had our guys uh, come back up. Pretty much at this point, I'm thinking it's over. But I thought, okay, the Kraken's are loose. Maybe they'll, I'll catch them off guard. And I'm pretty tanky at this point. So I thought, okay, I can I can get away with coming in there, sneaking in and grabbing them. I almost get Celeste, but I don't. Probably not the best move, uh, but it did sort of distract them and put them on, you know, had Celeste retreat. Uh, so that's good. And I jump on Fortress and really put a hurting on him pretty quick. Uh, he has to retreat as well. I actually get him down. So right there, that kill is uh, what gave us a chance in this match because now we can focus 100% on the Kraken. I don't even know if Celeste is even anywhere around because uh, she knows that if she's by herself, she'll she'll get taken out. And look how close this gets. I mean, this Kraken is beating on this thing. It is about a third, about a fifth, 10% health maybe. And why Celeste didn't come right in and try to shoot that ultimate on the vein, I don't know why she did sort of a pop shot like that trying to hit us. Uh, but we finally beat him off. I come down. We got him on the run. I'm going to grab this minion mine. And then right here, guys, Look at the mini-map up there. I noticed just out of the corner of my eye that somehow Finn snuck down the middle of the lane, and he is beating on our vein right now. Now, it does the vein does heal back up, so it's sort of like back to full health here or close to it. But look how low it is. Now, he, luckily, it was uh, Finn and not either Fortress or Celeste. Otherwise, this match would have been over. But I come over. He just does not have enough DPS to take it down. And I start putting some on him. He's completely ignoring me. Finally, he realizes he's not going to make it. Uh, so if I had not noticed that, again, it would have been over. Getting dead. Uh, and then now they're chasing us back down the lane. You guys can see how crazy this match is. It's just back and forth. Right here, Celeste knows. I think she's in trouble at this point. Uh, once she goes down, Fortress is all on his own. And here we go. We've got one minion mine taking control. Right here, I'll go ahead and say, okay, let's get these minions out of the lane because we're going to need some tanks for this turret. Uh, you see Ringo is already down there. So I guess he did the same thing, sort of snuck by, trying to get in there and take it out. I probably should have went ahead on and just got there. But I thought, you know, that last time I screwed up so bad, I went ahead and grabbed the minion mine. I thought if we can get these minions out of the way, we have something in front of us. This game is over. Uh, so right here, you're going to see the final battle. Uh, they've got two of the three up, but, you know, they've got our Ringo down, so it is two on two. Really, all I wanted to do at this point was take this turret out. I knew if we got the turret taken out, everybody was so tanky. There was nobody going to just fall over and die unless it was Celeste when she comes out. But if we got that turret out of the way, I felt like we could win the game uh, just as soon as, as, as I did that. So we fall back here, just sort of retreat. Again, it's, it's just without Ringo, it's hard for me to burst down either one of these guys. They're, they're so tankish built. Uh, both of the teams are just sort of, I think, just exhausted. Finally, Celeste comes over. Uh, huge mistake. Left her team. I guess she thought we were retreated back or they had run us off. Because uh, right here, we chase her down. I'm just going to stay on top of her. Again, out of out of power for the most part, but I just have enough to get that last ability off and then a few more auto attacks and she is done. A uh, perfect grab there by Finn. I wasn't ready for it. You can see how much it kind of juked me. 
because uh, I, I just, you know, I'm, this guy's brand new, not been ever seen something like that. So right here, Ringo finally joins back in the fight, and pretty much it's over at this point. We've got him on the run. We took Celeste out. They've got no damage to speak of, really, that's going to hurt us. Uh, we've got all of our DPS, all of our team fighting here. And again, once this turret goes down, it's all over with the crying. So I'm tired of talking about it. I mean, I feel like I just relived it. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I don't know. I don't know what the record is for the longest match. 46 minutes back and forth like that. Four Krakens. I've never seen anything like it. I'm sure maybe it's happened, but it has not happened to me. Uh, we finally get the win in the end. Uh, again, I'm exhausted. I, I'm sure you guys are if you're still with me on this one because this match was insane. Whew. All right. But there it is. Hopefully uh, I don't have another one like that for a while. It was fun, but it was something that I don't really want to do again in the next few minutes. Uh, 19, 5, and 6 for me. 5, 7, and 11 for our uh, Ringo and 3, 5, and 15 for our fans. So good job. Hope you guys liked it. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less. Thank <laughs> you.